The following segment is sponsored by Renown. Well, summer is here and so are the daily high temperatures. As you enjoy being active and socializing and spending time outdoors, it's important to know the signs of heat stroke and how you can prevent it from happening. Dr. Brett Fry, renowned emergency room physician and president of the Northern Nevada Emergency Physicians, joins us with some helpful information to keep you safe in the heat. Dr. Fry, what is heat stroke exactly and how is it caused? Well, uh, there is a continuum between heat exhaustion and heat stroke, uh, Shelby. That's important to distinguish the, between the two. Uh, heat exhaustion is kind of that, uh, that feeling of uh, getting dehydrated. Uh, you get heavy sweating, nauseated. You start getting uh, weak and crampy. Uh, and that's usually from prolonged exposure, excessive physical exertion in high heat environments. And then that can quickly, if uh, not addressed and treated, uh, can lead to heat stroke. And what are some of the common signs and symptoms to watch out for? So heat stroke uh, is that migration from heat exhaustion that would include more serious symptoms, such as confusion, uh, delirium, uh, lack of sweating. Uh, it's especially important to note uh, when the skin has stop being moist, uh, you've stopped sweating, uh, now you're red, confused, and often your body temperature is above 104 degrees and you're in real trouble. And that's a, that's a true medical emergency. And when do you know when you should be seeking medical attention for heat stroke? Well, I think anytime the nervous system is giving you feedback that it's not happy, uh, you're delirious, confused, you can't walk, uh, you got severe headache, vomiting. Uh, those are all dangerous symptoms, and I would suggest calling 911 or uh, getting immediate attention in an emergency department. In the summer, a lot of people like to enjoy alcoholic beverages out in the sun. Um, that can actually be dehydrating. You think you're drinking a bunch of Coors Lights, but not the same thing. That sure is true. Uh, alcohol has a, a diuretic effect. You end up uh, urinating quite a bit uh, and you actually get dehydrated. So I would say, uh, you know, enjoy uh, your, your beverages, uh, but uh, in between uh, beer or wine or whatever, uh, I, I think uh, drinking at least as much, uh, if not twice as much uh, water as you do alcohol is incredibly important in the summer months. Right. Some great advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Fry. For more information, you can visit renown.org slash Wellbeing Wednesday. Thanks so much. And may I put in a last plug for yes. getting a vaccine before the 4th of July? Please. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Thank Fry. Thank you.